Hey everyone, Brett here with TheDroidDemos.com. Today I'm going to be showing you guys a video on how to temp root your HTC Evo 3D so that you can back up your apps before doing a full root on your phone. Um, this is going to be done on Windows. Uh, this method, method will also work on Linux. Uh, there are methods to do it on Mac, but if you can get your hands on a Windows uh, computer or install Windows um, with Boot Camp on your Mac, I definitely recommend it uh, because it'll make your life a lot easier. Um, so first, on your phone, I'm just going to show, you, or on my phone, I'm just going to show you guys um, Titanium Backup. It's the app we're going to be using to uh, back up our apps. Um, I'm going to show you guys that right now. It says, sorry, cannot require uh, root privileges. Um, obviously, it's not rooted right now, but that's what you're going to see um, before you do the temporary root. Um, so on your computer. Uh, you're going to first want to make sure that you don't have HTC Sync installed. If you're not sure, you can just click the Start button and type Uninstall a program and click that. Make sure it's not installed. If it is, just click it and uninstall. I don't have it installed, so I don't have to worry about that. Um, if you ha don't know that you've installed it, you probably haven't, but it's just uh, good to check. Um, so there's two files that you're going to download, HTC Driver, and then the temporary root um, uh, zip file. And uh, the first thing that we're going to do is install the driver um, just by double clicking on it, accepting the privileges, and it's going to go through fairly quickly and install the driver. All right, and once that's done, we're going to unzip the uh, RW Evo 3D file for the temporary root just by right clicking and clicking Extract All. Uh, that there's a folder that we want. I'm having it on my desktop. Uh, click Extract. I already have it in a folder right here. Um, then on your phone, we're going to go to Menu Settings. Uh, Go down to Applications, Development, and make sure USB debugging is checked. Um, once you have that done, we can go back to the computer, open up the uh, folder for temporary root, and you're going to see a run me freevo root fi uh, batch file and we can just go ahead and double click that. It says waiting for device. Obviously I don't have the device plugged in yet, um, but at this point we're going to plug in the device with the USB cable. And then it should uh, catch it and go into the temporary root. And that says press any key to continue. I'm just going to hit enter, and that is it. The temporary root is all done. Um, so if I go back to the phone, I'm going to go home and go to titanium backup. Uh, let's go refresh and uh, it says titanium backup has been granted super user permissions it's not showing on the screen so I'm going to go ahead and uh, close the app real quick by going to applications running services or sorry let's go to the applications go down to titanium backup And stop that. Now if I go back to Titanium Backup and run it, ask for root permissions, and there we see that it's uh, got root access. So we're all good to go. Um, if you need to, uh, for some reason BusyBox messed up, you can just click Menu, More, and so, sorry, uh, there will show 
problems right here. We can just hit that. Um, upgrade super user, maybe busy box, um, but you shouldn't have any problems. So if you're in here, you're good to go. So to back up our apps, we just go to menu, batch, and it's going to bring up a lot of different options for what we can do with the app, but we just want to, under backup, click backup all user apps. You just have to run that and you're good to go. Uh, when you get your phone rooted, then you can just install Titanium Backup again and come back into the app, go to restore, and we're going to, we would restore all apps with data. And then you'll have all your apps back just as they were before with all your settings and data, uh, games in the same place, everything. Um, so you don't have to worry about any of that. So this tutorial showed you how to do a temporary root so that we could back up our apps before uh, doing a full root on our Evo 3D. Again, I'm Brent from thedroiddemos.com. Thanks for watching.